have we have a quorum. Um, usual rundown of what's out there. We have the Big Bird attachments fixes. We have a maintenance collection of lots of bugs. We have the viewer managed marketplace viewer. And we have another iteration of the mesh importer. This one is the one we think is going to be good. Uh, I don't know that. I just, I'm hoping. Um, so uh, those are all out there. Uh, nothing new should be appearing before the weekend at this point. So that's what we have to deal with today. And uh, I am not prepared to predict which one is going to be the next release, but it'll be one of those. Um, and I think we just uh, need to know if viewer managed marketplace and big bird are going to be next before anything else. Well, um, grumpy, do you have a, an opinion about that? I mean, it's I mean, actually kind of important. That, strictly speaking, we let can't me rephrase say. it. It's important that uh, that Big Bird and uh, your managed marketplace are next, uh, because those are things you think you need to merge. Yeah, well, those are things we want to merge um, so that we can get our next release out. We're we're we want to get a release out as soon as you guys uh, release those things and. So our release, we want it to be up to date with you guys as quickly as possible. And so those are the uh, merges that we have basically in staging and just sort of ready to go and waiting. Mm -hmm. Well, except for the XML thing. Yeah. Sorry, I'm laggy. Um, can't promise. Uh, it will depend on their performance and... Uh crash rates um which at the moment we'll keep it in mind we haven't got but that's a different topic Actually, and welcome back, back, back grumpy welcome back, back. you've been missed uh yeah so we'll be we'll be assessing those uh you know they've all just gotten updates they've all just merged merged experiences and uh Going back out, and hopefully we'll we'll. Uh, I don't know. I guess the best case would be that one of them is dramatically better than the others, and then we'll go with that one. But uh, the realistic scenario for that happening would be that all the others are horribly flawed in some way. So let's not. Yeah. Right. Really get really get to work. Find bugs. They're horrible. <laughs> you just got to find them. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> Probably stuff you can't even see. Maybe I don't know. Pause. Did you did you mention um, notifications project viewer? Uh, no, I forgot to. So we've we've got that project viewer out. Um, let's see, do we have any others that I was forgetting about? Um, well, I think that's what Tenserial and Checkout are, are trying to get some information about, um, starting those XMLs. Um, and Serial, it's, I think I saw a fix for those go by. Um, and I just need to go verify that, uh, um, the, the, they're going to get, we, we have to check the translations. What, what may have, okay. Um, what may have happened is that some of the translations ended up reverted from what they should have been and we have to get them double checked. Um, unfortunately, I mean, this is one of those, this is one of those obnoxious cases where, you know, a developer who doesn't speak all nine languages, um, can't.
can't always get the merge right. <laughs> right. Um, I so there's definitely work going on related to those, um, and I just need to confirm uh, the status of it. But we were not planning to release VMM until that's addressed. So it's unlikely to be the Monday promotion. Yeah, well, the, right. The, Maybe they should, it's it should not have been possible to check them in with, with, with um, XML that was not well formed. That was a, that was an error and it did eventually get caught. But, uh, it shouldn't have gotten as far as the Bitbucket repo. It won't next time. It's it's unfortunately true that XML, uh, it's and especially the way we encode LLSD in XML, uh, is, makes it prone to merge errors. Lots of identical strings scattered throughout the file. Uh, but there you go. Um, I believe the last release should have the um, fixes for invalid XML. Yeah, it, right. It, it's valid XML, whether it's got the right content in it or not, I don't know. Okay. So let's um, uh, answer. And Sarah, kind of if you want to send me a message with what is broken in the latest build. I'll take it and review. Uh, Grumpy at linenlab.com. Yeah, that works. I can't believe I said that out loud. Yes. <laughs> That's the one disadvantage of using voice in Second Life. There's no verbal backspace. <laughs> you might regret it. <laughs> uh, um, but the yeah, so the but the notice viewer is also out there. That's pretty cool. We think that's going to be a nice improvement. Yes, I would love feedback on the notifications viewer because this is the time to do it. Once it goes into an RC, I will be a lot less inclined to make any major changes. Yay, Whirly likes it. Let's ship it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I have to agree. It's, it's, um, it's a good change. Yeah. Oz, there was so. something that we wanted to ask Grumpity while she was away, and I don't remember what it was. Uh, well, it was it, we we wanted to be able to bend Grumpity's ear about the changes to groups and all the different things that need to be fixed about groups, and that is on the list of topics to discuss uh, at oh, our okay. upcoming summits. Uh, we're so um, we have to we have to work out what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah, we're we're going to have to work out what we're going to do about about groups and how to make quick, them better. Quick, somebody grab her by the foot. That way, the ear can still listen. Right. Uh, but I think that's the thing that we talked about that I said we need grumpity for damage. Uh, and the other one was reviewing Neuron's uh, snapshot floater changes, which she's already working on. I gave her a viewer to look at. 
Oh, that's what it was. Damage. It was the damage thing. That's right. Oh, damage. Right. That's what it was. Yeah. Well, at least that's what was on my mind. Right. So there's there is some incoherence in the rules for and the display of whether or not damage works in various places. Um, and that has to be sorted. Oz did bend my ear about that, um, and it's also on my to-do. So, the the way that it's working right now, that you guys acknowledge that that's not, not um, what's the word? Ideal. Good behavior? <laughs> it's not ideal, I agree. Yeah. Okay, cool. But if I were to tell you that I strive for ideal performance on everything in Second Life, I would be a little facetious. And besides, that would open I, I her up to all sorts of to, uh, things. To a um, more realistic standard. Realism in Second Life? Come on now, Grumpity. Um, do we have other other topics? Uh, other than that, um, just, you know, we're waiting on uh, to see what you guys would do. Because once you guys have merged in Vero Minish Marketplace and Big Bird, uh, we'll merge and then we'll start our QA on that. And uh, hopefully we can have it out within three weeks, ideally. But um, you know how that goes. Um, otherwise... I don't think but I have any other... the best case, if we did those two in one order or the other... Right. Uh, you know, you're looking at at least three weeks um, before we're done, before we've done that. Uh, I mean, most likely. Unless we make an exception and release two, two viewers at once. Well, I, I can live with that, because that would be six weeks from now. And considering I said in our last release that we'll have another release within six weeks, it works out. <laughs> it's been a bit more than six weeks, hasn't it? Yes. But that's okay. Support doesn't mind. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, just that we're, you know, as soon as you guys get those out, then... Because that's what our targets are, basically, is, is Big Bird, View Mesh Marketplace, and Experience Tools. I, I make no promises. We have hope. Hope is a good thing. We literally have hope, actually. You literally do. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, hope. Oh, come on. Jess is here and it's quarter after and we're already running out of things to talk about. It can happen. I, I wasn't, I didn't even actually realize that we had a third part of your meeting today, so I wasn't prepared. Oh, so I'm better can you guys. It's probably because we fixed everything, actually. <laughs> Since the only topic go. is which of our <laughs> fixes to everything we're going to ship, then I think we fixed everything. I'm actually. Uh, Wait, does that include the the, the um, broken um, interest list again? Interest list isn't broken. Never been broken. It's always worked perfectly. Well, the if if there are issues with that, um, we need repros because we haven't got them. And we also Actually, need to to be able to isolate whether it's whether the problem is that the that the various interest list messages are not being um, delivered properly, or whether the problem is that the um, you know that the assets aren't getting fetched properly, which is independent of that. Okay. Um, and Sarah will send me an email with a pointer to that JIRA, and I'll, I'll have a look. We've got one of our 
folks to test it. Um, we, we do want that to work. Uh. Hey, Oz, the yeah. last third, the, the last meeting you had, we hadn't shipped experiences yet, had we? That's correct. We had not. We shipped experiences. Yeah, we did. And we want to release it in Firestorm as soon as we can. I, I feel like if there was a little celebration, I missed it. So I just want to hear the excitement again. <laughs> Congrats. Um, well, th that, that's why we need the, the other commits to go out so that we can have them, so that we can have experience in Firestorm. We really, you have no idea how badly we want experience tools in uh, Firestorm. All right. Going once. I got nothing. Go uh, once. It's Friday. That one. There's always that book right there. The seven oh eight four. You mean? It's one that's it's the one that's causing shapes and stuff to become corrupt and missing. Uh, nine four nine four eight seven Annie posted. I'm reading. It's quite a few linked to that one as well. Interesting. Um, we think there might be something internally. Uh, going to look for it, but thank you for all the info on it. Um, if we have one, we'll link it, and if not, then we'll import this one. I actually have a question to this with this one. Could this be something that is related to you, AIS3 and the inventory transfer? Uh, well, or transfer? But the the only way to answer that would be to um. I, I mean, this is this is a little too nebulous. We can't we can't answer it right if it just says the uh, the shape is corrupt that's not that's not actionable we have to find out what is it about the shape that's that's not usable um and so somebody's going to have to find a consistent way to repro this and then get in and look at what the data says um so I mean, the, the, sh the shape asset hasn't changed because they don't. Um, either your local copy of it has been modified, the copy in your inventory cache, or um, a pointer to something that's not correct has been, has been created in your inventory. Because inventory is just a set of pointers to assets, right? Um, and... Assets don't change, only the pointers change. So we, there's a couple of levels of indirection. We have to figure out which one has gone wrong. And, and of course, there's caches for, for both the pointers and the assets. So um, that's, that's going to be the process of figuring out a thing like this, is to figure out which of those several things has, has gone bad on us. Um, which is something that a third-party developer could definitely do. It's all viewer-side work.
Okay, I think are we, we done are here? sufficiently done. Uh, actually, Burley had, oh. Burley had put one out, Oz. Yeah, I... 7761. 7761 is Phantom Scripted Attachments After Teleport. It's not gone yet, Whirly. It's not too late yet. Whirly, I saw it. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm seeing this one quite a lot whenever I teleport, especially with things like my shoes and sometimes mesh bodies. Um, there's a there's a lot of stuff in here about people reproing things on Firestorm. Uh, that's not useful. Uh, in fact, it's 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 worse than. They're on not your big bird does. They're not on Firestorm. Uh, no, there there are people in the comment stream on that issue saying I've just reproduced this on Firestorm and giving Firestorm version numbers. Oh well, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> But um, what I mean is, um, I'm not saying it can't be reproduced yeah. on ours, but that, that's uh, adding things about how it appears on other viewers is is just noise. Um, so, uh, Worlds points out to look at the last few comments. Yeah. All right, we'll follow it up. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to do some some testing. I mean, we we do some. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, are are people known to when addressing the Linden Jira that it must be addressed while they're on the Linden viewer? Uh, so people who come in and say they reported it on Firestorm, and generally they may not be, they certainly wouldn't be on our team, I don't think. It might be a new beta tester, if there are any of our beta testers. They're not our testers either. They they're know better testers, than that. So they're just, yeah. they're just Nothing general really users. I mean, when you're, yeah. when you're talking about a viewer that's on 70% of the grid, it's going to happen. People are going to oh, yeah, go to yeah. your Jira and use our viewer. I mean, there's no way around it. Yeah. But you guys understand that. Yeah, we do know. Help. And, and especially, and with, we avoid especially that. with this, because you haven't even got you haven't even got the big bird fixes yet. Um, so um, that's because uh, we, we know that some issues like those are fixed in in big bird. But it's, I see a lot of people here that are mentioning reported on Firestorm. They're not affiliated with us. They just happen to use Firestorm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I may just zap some of those comments just to get them off the get get the noise level down. Yeah, go for it. We can deal with the fallout from that. All right, um, we'll we'll have a look at some of these, um, and uh, we'll see you in. Let me look Two at weeks. my calendar. What did I say here? Uh, not two weeks. It's going to be three weeks, the 31st. In two weeks, I will be on vacation. All right. We'll see you guys again on the 31st. Have a good weekend. All right. Thank you. Bye, you everybody. Ciao. Take care, us. You too, Grandpa. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Hey, Jess, did you get something in your inventories this week? I did. I haven't had a chance to look. Okay.